believe that ISIS actually practices Islam has Muslims struggling to differentiate themselves from the radical terrorist group. In fact, the two could not be farther apart. Our Kristen Volk joins us now with a closer look at true Islam and how ISIS has twisted the religion's reputation. Lee, they have twisted it so much that Muslims tell me they have a name for it, Islamophobia. They feel that prejudice much more now in the days following the attacks in Paris. And as local mosques are stepping up their security, Muslims here tell me they are working hard to educate others about their religion. So when you go to place this scarf, I pin it from the back normally and then kind of wrap it around her head, depending on the length of the scarf. Cleveland State student Sarah Muhammad wants people to ask her why she wears a headscarf. Just like that. And she is eager to explain her religion of Islam to others. Personally, you, you get these types of looks and you get people flipping you off and saying, go back to your country, and really inappropriate things are said to me personally. There is a backlash that we always see a spike of Islamophobia after incidents like this. Muhammad tells me she hasn't felt any backlash in light of the Paris attacks yet. But Issam Zaim is preparing for it. He is the former president of CARE in Cleveland, the Council on American Islamic Relations. This got to stop. You, we should not allow ISIS to win because that's exactly what they want to do. They want to create a wedge between the American Muslims and their fellow Americans. And if we allow them to do that, they will succeed. Zaim and Muhammad explain that it is strictly forbidden in Islam to kill any living being or commit violence. They say it's even written in the Quran. The Quran specifically states that these types of actions are against our beliefs. And in accordance with her beliefs, Muhammad says she strives to always be kind and accepting of others and their beliefs. And I really just want to allow myself to be approachable and allow myself um, to be to be a student that no one's, you know, intimidated by. Muhammad says she wears a headscarf, or hijab as it's called, because her religion dictates that Muslim women be modest in public. Headscarves hide a woman's hair in hopes that men focus on a woman's intelligence and personality instead of her looks. Live in the studio, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.